the last passage rather. So here we are speaking about, see the author speaks about uh, how certain birds, right, they are, they display skills, right, with skills which, which are like the use of, uh, you know, machines modifying things and using them to their advantage. These birds, sometimes they do, they do it in the wild, some of them do it in the captivity also, right. Now, uh, that way, because of this, people start thinking that, Acha, we should probably make some kind of a list of zoological IQ tests with humans at the top to establish the hierarchy with humans at the top. The author says, in evolution, it does not work like this because animals, each animal is given is basically assigned a certain path, right? The, each animal is actually supposed to uh, have a certain specialty. Evolution is all about increasing the chances of reproduction and survival of that particular animal which fits the requirements. So in short, what we consider human intelligence to be the best is unique to us, but it is not the best in terms of hierarchy, right? So therefore, a bird which has a certain skill, a mammal which has a certain skill, it is suitable to its own field. So there should be no hierarchy as such. Right. So that is what is the whole aim of the passage. Right. So <clears throat> that way, uh, what we should actually do is rather than, you know, so it is interesting. It is, it is, it would be better to recognize the cognition, right. Uh, and to research how the birds or the, the birds which behave like humans, right. Rather than trying to provide a hierarchy, it is better to study how they could evolve similar traits to us rather than trying to find a copy for ourselves in the, in the animal world. So this is the passage. Next question. All of the following are true except which one, which basically means which of the following is not true. We are looking at something which is not true. Right. So this is a tricky question. Let's see. Uh, now, Gavin Hunt saw that these crows could use twigs with hook, hook ends as tools. This is there right in the beginning. So, how this person saw these crows? In fact, I'll just show it to you. Right. So, he saw the crows using tools to help them forage. Right. In addition to twigs, right, with the hooked ends. So he's, this is basically the part which confirms that the person mentioned there, Hunt, he used he saw these animals or these birds using twigs, right? So this cannot be the answer because it is something which is true, right? We should construct a zoological test. Now, this is what the author recommends against. We should not do it. If you want to read the part again, I'll quickly tell you, right? So he says we are impressed with this humor, with this bird's skill, right? And... Uh, some sometimes people ask me which animals as if we could construct some kind of zoological ideal test right but this impulse is wrong headed when you say this impulse is wrong headed it is wrong to attempt this right so this is something which is clearly wrong so it is wrong headed that means this is what is wrong so the answer should be the answer should be basically right now new caledon crows can adapt the skills to canter yes they can actually Change. Now, sometimes they attach to the twig, they attach a hooked end, right? The adaptation is given clearly in the passage. By the way, I've already found the answer, right? Now, even crocodiles and cockroaches, cockroaches and bears, the cockroach bears have relatively, this is something which is mentioned when he explains, I'll show you that part, right? This part here, some species like crocodiles or cockroaches, they bear, they look like uh, their ancestors, right? But the resemblance or lack of it shows that. So, in short, it basically means because of evolution, some of some cro crocodiles and cockroaches they look more like their ancestors because their ancestors were probably suitable for survival in that particular form, in that particular shape, in that particular environment that they live in, right? So that way, so crocodiles and cockroaches they bear a degree of resemblance. This is again something which is correct. We just read that part. So this cannot be the answer. 